Okay, so um, tell me again what you did with the leech. We uh, hollowed out the leech. Okay. Then we uh, put the leech tape back on very tight. And then the third thing we did is we changed the purchase system for the leech cord to a three to one system so it can be adjusted easily rather than trying to pull it and you couldn't get any movement on it. Yeah, that is a pain with all my cells. So explain the three to one to me. Okay. I mean, you have to pretty much be a, a, a ballerina good. or an acrobat, especially if you're healing. No, this is good. Oh, wow. I so see what you mean. Yeah, it, okay. It, it, it was originally just a two to one. Yeah. But also, the way this was set up, there was, um, what do you call it? Uh, not chafe, but friction in here. So by doing it this way, you can get a better fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In other words, when you see, because you're pulling through here, you know, this tube, mm -hmm. and it's it's got, obviously, inherently has friction in it. So um, this gives you a way better purchase to... Uh, to hammer yeah. down on it and tighten it. Yeah, which will have to be done when sailing is happening. But one thing for sure, his halyard was loose. I think the day we went sailing, we might have tightened it up. For the main sail or the general, the main sail. I, I remember we tightened up one sail, but but at the end of the day, if the main halyard is loose, it's, it's gonna the cause leech binding. the leech wants to inherently flutter. So you gotta have got tension on your halyard when the sails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get I mean, like light it up. <laughs> got it. Um. So and now the the real trick is this is on one tack. Let's see, this would be on the port tack. You can actually get to this cleat. On starboard tack. Yeah. In other words, because it goes around. On starboard tack, you can't physically reach around the back of the sail to try and get it. And it takes a little bit of acrobatics. The day we went sailing was blown. You're healing too much to do it. Yeah. We just couldn't get to it. So um, that's that but he will have to adjust the leech cord and I know he's older. And one thing I thought of is you could do it at the dock, like roll the sail out, get it up. Before you got, yeah. And then pull some leech cord on before you furl it away. Like what you could do with it, <clears throat> which is how I would do it. Let's say you put it up, Matthew. Yeah. And you've got the leech, you know, out, the foot out, everything's, pretty firm, you know, triangular. So then you pull some leech cord on before you furl it up. Because what that'll do is that'll pre-tension the leech cord. So it doesn't want it, so it's not starting with no tension on it. So it's starting with some tension on it. Okay. And that should make it easier. So, you know, how much to pre-tension it, I, I can't quite tell you, but I would, if you're pulling Three inches out of the cleat, that's one inch of travel on the primary cord because it's three to one. Mm -hmm. So if you take all the slack out of it and say, okay, I'm starting here, go at least three or four inches of tail, which tightens the leech cord up, the, Got it. the one and a half or so inches. I mean, I'll, next time I'm down there, you know, I can certainly sure. circle back and just like the... He's going to be out of town for a week, too, yeah. so um, if you want to sync up one day... And I'm week, told me, you know, I'll just get I've it. told him, too, on a weekend, any weekend, he and I just never got it. I will go soon. I'm still... I love that. Bent. I know you will. <laughs> and and, I, and I, we had some really great 